Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here for a Easter slash spring 2022 decor haul. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I got from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and Target for Easter and spring. Um, everything that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is more of a neutral and modern farmhouse feel. Um, you guys know I don't like too much color. I don't like ray done. I don't like whimsical things. And if I do go with color, I pick one accent color and I just add pop of it throughout the house so my accent color for spring and Easter is yellow so I got little tiny pops of yellow everything else is white um, ceramic or wooden textures and just beautiful so we're just gonna jump straight in so some of these things you might have seen in um, my previous decor haul where I showed you guys everything that I got from the Target dollar spot and all that stuff but a lot of these things you guys did not see because I did go um, shopping again after and a lot of the things um, that I'm also decorating with are still coming in the mail um, because I ordered some things from Amazon and Hobby Lobby that I didn't see in store so um, you guys will see that Friday for the actual clean and decorate with me. But we're gonna start off with Hobby Lobby because I didn't get much from in store because again, they didn't have a lot out. And um, yeah, they didn't have kind of the color schemes that I wanted in store. So the first thing that I got was this little Easter sign that was $6.99 and I believe they have the 40% off um, as they do for all seasons. But it's super cute. Again, wooden and white. So it goes with the neutral feels. The next thing I got from Hobby Lobby, which I'm pretty sure you guys seen before in other clean and decorates with me for Easter, but it's this cute little jar with a ceramic bunny on top. And that is the feel that I'm going for is a lot of wooden tones. And if I'm gonna add any like bunnies um, inside of my decor, I wanted it to be ceramic wooden um, type of textures so this is super cute I don't know where I'm gonna put this um, I'm thinking in the kitchen you guys know the kitchen is my favorite place to decorate and it always comes out the best um, and yeah I don't know maybe I'll fill it with jelly beans maybe white and yellow um, not jelly beans but the Jordan almonds or the Cadbury eggs something like that and only do the white and yellow ones so that it kind of goes with my um, color scheme as for florals I did go ahead and order a lot of them online because Hobby Lobby didn't have much of what I wanted in store and I haven't seen them anywhere else I wanted lots of sunflowers and daisies because again I'm going with the pops of yellow um, and white so these are the stems that I did get from Hobby Lobby but I do have a lot coming um, in the mail so first I got these sunflowers super cute and I'll show you guys the um the little jars that I plan on putting them with from the Target dollar spot it's very similar to what I did for Valentine's Day but with the pink flowers so I got two sets of these sunflower florals and then I flower this is but they are white with a little bit of yellow in the middle very cute gives me um, Easter vibes gives me spring vibes so I got two of these as well and I got these half off because their florals were half off well but super cute and again I have a lot coming in the mail as for the Target dollar spot I only found three things there and the first thing are these little bud bases super cute you guys know I use the pink tinted ones from um, the Target dollar spot for Valentine's Day and then I just put the pink florals in and I decorated with them all throughout the house so I plan on doing the same thing with Easter and these were three dollars three dollars for a set of three which is super super good and I got two sets of these the next thing that I got which I was so excited for that I found this in my target because my target never has anything so I grabbed the last four of them were these ceramic bunnies because this is what I'm going for lots of wooden tones and ceramic so I grabbed these and these were five dollars each I got four of them I did give one to my mom when I went to visit her and then I kept three I might use all of them I might not but I just think they're super cute um, and maybe for a centerpiece um, on your island or on your coffee table on a tray it would look super cute next to like a greenery and a candle so that is the vibe that I'm going for and the last thing that I 
got from Target, and you might have seen this in my Target dollar spot haul, is this um, tear tray. I want to use this so bad for an Easter tear tray to put on my buffet table. This was five dollars but I am not sure if I'm going to use it because I never decorated a tear tray before so I'm gonna try I know tear trays are like super big amongst youtubers but I have never decorated one before nor have I had one so I'm going to try for Easter but if I don't like it you guys won't even see it but it is in the plans all right, y'all, now we're gonna go into Home Goods, and that is where I got the most of my stuff. I love Home Goods. Um, a lot of the holidays I've been building my decor because this is the first time I've been in my house decorating for holidays. My previous house, I was only in there for a very short time, and there was always something going on during the holidays, um, whether it was my wedding or um, I got pregnant during the holidays, and then I had the baby during the holidays. So there was always something going around. So I am building my collection, and I love home goods. Like, I love home goods. They come out with such neutral decor. Everywhere else, I find it's so whimsical. And they do have whimsical at home goods, but they also have a ton of neutral and farmhouse decor. So we're gonna jump straight in. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this cute sign that says if you feed them, they will come. And obviously they're talking about the bunnies. This sign was $7.99 and super cute. I plan on putting this in my kitchen right where I have the Valentine's Day baked treat sign. That is a super, super good tip I have for you guys when you're decorating is just um, so that you're not overspending or buying things that you don't need. Try to keep the same kind of scheme for each holidays and just replace it with um, whatever season it is. So if you have a sign in a certain place for Valentine's Day or Christmas, when Easter comes around or other holidays come around, just replace that sign with one that fits the season and then you'll know what you need when you're shopping. So I got this super super cute and I plan on putting like a little bunny next to it so that you know it's talking about bunnies because some people can miss that. The next sign that I got which it does have Ray Dunn um, letters on it but it's very minimal and I still like the look of the sign. It still looks very farmhousey to me. I'm not crazy about the Ray Dunn but um, I am planning to use this. I'm not gonna say where because I feel like I always in these decor hauls I always tell you guys where I'm gonna put things and I just want to leave it for a surprise. So um, it says every bunny welcome super cute and then the little tail is like a cotton ball and it pops out kind of like a 3D effect. This is super cute and it has a little plaid bunny and then I also got this cute plaid bunny which I think fits in. Um, this was $5.99. Oh, and this sign was $5.99 as well. But this is a super cute bunny. And again, it has that plaid um, design on it. Very farmhousey. So it's going to look super cute. Um, it's all going to tie in together. There's a lot of grays, a lot of creams. So that is what I'm going for, y'all. All neutral. And I'm just so excited. I have never decorated for... Easter. Same thing as Valentine's Day. This is my first year decorating for those two holidays. Christmas every year, but these two holidays I have not yet, so I'm super excited. The next thing that I got from Home Goods, and this was a splurge, you guys. I always go more budget friendly. This was $15, $14.99, and that is a splurge for me. You guys know I'm super cheap, but this was super cute. Super, super cute. Oh my gosh. It has a marble. And this is genuine marble. Um, well, the, at least that's what it says on their tag. But um, it's a marble bunny on a marble ba um, base. And then it has this beautiful like wooden piece behind it. And this is so beautiful. This gives me cutting board vibes. This will look so nice. Oh my gosh, here I go again. <laughs> Telling you guys what I plan to do. But this would really go so nice like... Um, with a cutting board in the back against your backsplash. Um, super cute. And again, neutral. And I'm just loving it. I'm loving everything that um, I got. I'm just hoping that it all turns out the way I plan in my head. Next thing that I'm going to show you guys that I also showed you guys in my haul last week are these dish towels um, that I'm going to put on my stove and my dishwasher. I always do this for every season and I always say that it is such a great way to decorate because it completes the entire look 
you can go very simple on your countertops and not overcrowd but once you put your dish towels in it's automatically whatever season you are decorating for and i was looking for very neutral ones so i love when i found this and again it's going with the theme um, it's kind of like a cream color with a plaid design in gray so it goes with um let me just show you guys here it just goes with the whole vibe of everything and what i love is that if you look really closely, I love the cottontails, but if you look really closely, their bows are yellow. So that's a small detail that I love because again, yellow is my accent color. And I got two sets of these because again, I'm going to put them in my, or on my dishwasher and my stove. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys, and I always limit myself to at least one holiday pillow. So for Easter, I got this one and I'm gonna put it on my couch. Obviously, I'm not going too crazy um, on my couch or in my living room, I should say. But this was super cute. Again, very neutral, cream and white. And it's kind of like a sweater pattern bunny here with like a burlap cotton tail. And this was, $24.99 but I only got one pillow so I was able to splurge a little bit and I also forgot to mention that the dish towels that I just previously showed you were each $6.99 so super budget friendly. So if you've been here for a while then you know that I just decorated a buffet table and I actually DIY'd it, I flipped it and I decorated with a lot of ceramic things, um, ceramic dishes, a butter dish. And so I thought a very cute way to decorate on the buffet table is to replace the ordinary butter dish with this bunny one that I found at Home Goods. Um, this was $7.99, but it is so cute. It's a little ceramic bunny butter dish. So I thought it would be super easy to just replace the, the one that I have right now, which is just a plain old butter dish with this one. But then I also want to put the tear tray on that buffet table, so I'm going to have to play around with that. Now, one of my favorite finds that is not really Easter um, decor, but I am going to use it for my Easter and spring decor because I'm trying to change my whole mantle look. Even some of you guys commented that um, my TV was way too high on my mantle, and I know that the reason for that is because the way that they put the... Um, outlet they put it like right in the center and we got the wrong um tv stand we didn't get the one that has the open middle so you can just um put it up and then the outlet will stand in the middle the one that you either have to put it above the outlet or below the outlet and if you put it below the outlet it was way too low so we just opted for the high until so we were able to get the one that has the opening in the middle and we got it for easter so i'm just gonna redo my mantle because um i have my gold um candlesticks which are really tall because i was able to put that there because the tv was so high but now i'm gonna have to figure out something a little bit um lower because the tv is gonna be more lower so i got some new candlesticks guys i found these at home goods and i'm always finding super cute um candle holders at home goods but these are super cute and super cheap. This one was $6.99 and this one was $5.99. And they are super cute. And they're much shorter shorter than the um the gold ones that I have right now. And what I ordered from Amazon are the short taper candles because I have the long ones right now and those are super long and they'll probably bump into the TV. So Putting the shorter ones, which are much more in style anyways, is gonna be super cute and I just love these. They're wooden and they were, my favorite part was that they are so budget friendly because something like this and like Kirkland's or um, I don't know, Joann's or something like that would be way more than $5.99. So if you live near a home goods, definitely go over there. Actually, I am totally lying. This is not from home goods. These were actually from Marshall's. Yeah, these were from Marshall's. So I went to Home Goods and Marshalls for heat Easter decor because they were in the same parking lot. But yeah, these are from Marshalls. So definitely if you don't find these at Home Goods, go to Marshalls because a lot of the times Marshalls and TJ Maxx will have things that Home Goods don't have, which is weird because they're all the same company and you would think that Home Goods have more of the decor and then 
Marshalls has more of clothes and other type of things, but Marshalls have the hidden gems, guys. I'm telling you guys. I even found um, in Marshalls those beaded, um, not taper candle holders, the pillar candle holders that I have on my buffet table. A lot of you guys asked me for those. I found them in Marshalls when I went shopping for these and I almost grabbed them to put them on the mantle, but then I seen these and I was just like, okay, let me change it up. So definitely head over to your Marshalls to see if you can find these or the ones that um, were on my buffet table that you guys asked about. The last two things that I'm gonna show you guys from Home Goods are these wooden bunnies and I got a small one and a big one, but I don't know if I'm gonna use these these might be returned because when I got these I originally could not find any ceramic bunnies that were um, cheap enough or budget friendly enough um, I saw some in Hobby Lobby but they were way too expensive for me and then when Target put them out in the dollar spot I found them and I was like okay this was my original style not wooden bunnies but I might still play around with this um, specifically the little one this little one was $5.99, super cute, and it has like a little tail in the back too. And then um, this bigger one doesn't have a price on it, but it was probably like $7 or $8.99. So um, I might use these, I might not. Cause I'm gonna play around with what I'm doing on my mantle. I plan on doing the candle holders and maybe like something floral. Again, here I am telling you guys. Um, and then I also got this cup cause I, I have to get a cup for every season. You know, I have my Christmas one, my Valentine's Day one, and now I got this cute Easter one and $4.99, it's $4.99. So, yeah guys, that's it for my Easter and spring decor haul. I have a lot of things coming from Amazon and Hobby Lobby in the mail. So definitely stay tuned. That video would be out on Friday. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see that. And if you are subscribed and don't have your notification bell turned on, make sure you do that because Friday will be the Easter and spring clean and decorate with me. And I am so excited for that, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching until now, I love you guys and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.